Alrighty, what is up everybody? My name is Monkey Lifer and welcome back to Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion Game of the Year Edition. So, I forgot what I was doing because it's been pretty weak, but it seems like I am supposed to help out Elante, a scholar. Oh. Greetings to you. Okay, What's so going on with you? It's just escort. They that's, say that's the nice. king a simple escort mission. Can't be that bad. Fuck out the way. Yeah. You swung at me, you bastard. But I don't know what to say, honestly. Alright, where the hell do I have to go? Oh my god. It's all the way up there. Travel to the inn. Just down the road. Yep. Just down the road. All right, just down the road. Fuck, I love that video. <laughs> it's called Happy Souls. Anyway, uh, I just the game may look a little shittier because I'm getting tired. I, there's this issue with Oblivion for PC. That whenever you load it, it load it loads up this little launch box where you can go to the menu that says play options, data files, support, and exit. So every single time Oblivion opens, it resets my video settings to medium, and that puts the game in 640 by 480. So I have to go back in there and change it to 1080, and then it changes all my fucking graphics, and it fucking sucks I just left it so all I did was m turn on distant trees so all those trees would not be there fuck out her would not be there and turn on the dis uh, the tree distance the draw distance of the trees so that's all I did I didn't change the graphics from medium to high I just changed that and that's it now it looks like shit <laughs> Which, in general, Oblivion always looked like shit. But whenever the, time, uh, the game came out, it actually looked pretty damn good. The game looks good on PS3, though. It does. But it just runs like shit. Man. Fall, uh, Oblivion runs better than Fallout 3 on console. Hey, how you doing? Ah, you must be from the Fighters Guild. Excellent. Yes, ma'am, I am. I'm looking forward to our investigation. Fascinating subject, these Deidre. No. All right. I am Alante of Alanor. Okay. My research shows there is likely a shrine in these caves. I'll need you to accompany me to the shrine. Handle any difficulties. Yes, ma'am. Yes, let's investigate. And keep on your toes. Yes, ma'am. Stay close. Sorry about my clothes. <laughs> Please. They're the best armor that I got. Now how about I stay in front so I don't hit you in the fucking face with this. Or in the back. With the uh the wizard's fury. What's it in? Oh, I think all of that. Thank you. Alright. Wonder what we're gonna find down now. So how's everybody's Tuesdays going? Going good? Good. I need to finish a lot of games. I I've said this in Fallout 3. I need to finish a lot of games. Yeah, most importantly, Doom Eternal. So I can uninstall it. Because I reinstalled a few games. I reinstalled War Thunder. I reinstalled. Uh. No, I don't think I reinstalled anything else. Big, at least. But I did buy two games the other day. That set me back about. $8.34. Uh, they added two new games to the, uh, well, they didn't add anything. They added, 
a few Need for Speed games, which made EA put a Need for Speed sale on until July 9th. So I bought Need for Speed Undercover and Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Undercover, I can create a new uh, a new save file. Hot Pursuit, I can't. I don't know why, because of... Well, I probably do know why. Uh, Critian Games, I think it's called. I fucking hate them whenever they make a Need for Speed game. Fucking Most Wanted remake. Uh, Rivals. The only reason why I hate those is that, you know, auto log is ass. I don't like it. Uh, you have to be online or some shit. I don't know. It's just, I don't like it. I just will, like 2016, 2016 or 2015. I think it was 2015. 2015 Need for Speed. I want to play that. Yes, I do. So bad. But I got to be online. I fucking hate those types of games. Oh yeah, you want to play this game? You have to have multiplayer. You have to be online to at least play it. Like, what the fuck? Thank God The Surge 2 has online, but... You don't have to be Excellent. online. A fine example of a Diedrich Shrine. Sorry for the trouble getting here. Oh, let's no. keep moving. Well, we're not in trouble. Alright, let's keep moving. Nice shrine. Of Megaron's Dagon. Correct. Uh, don't look like it. I think I'll study this shrine a bit longer. You can make your way out here. I thank you again for your help. Please, take this as a token of my thanks. Cool, thank you. Goodbye. Thanks again. Oh wow, Morningstar. What's over here? Oh, chest. Fuck yeah, very easy. Yo. Booth of resolution. Oh. Uh, insulation. I had to come up with the word there. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I might have a hair in my goddamn mouth. If you do not mind giving me a few seconds of your time whilst I look at it, yep, there is most certainly a hair in my mouth. And there it is. It is gone. Now let me clean my fucking polycarbonate mouth pad by, you know, the good old razor. <laughs> oh my god. I love razor, I do. It's just that the mouse and keyboard that I use, I want new ones of the same one because I ain't know them. But there is only one problem. They discontinued it. Which sucks. <laughs> I got the, uh, my mouse is a black mamba tournament edition and this is a chroma keyboard no it's not chroma it's sort of see i don't know what it is is it on the bottom yes it is cynosa cynosa chroma that's what i have i like it i need a new one <laughs> Well, the only new thing I need is a new mouse pad and mouse, but that's a good eighty dollars because the mouse pad I want is the mouse pad I want is fifteen dollars. It's the same exact one. It's no bigger. It's just new because I like the mouse pad I have because uh, I have a dog and my hair is starting to get quite long because of this quarantine bullshit and. The hair just gets in, stuck inside it. That I had a log I have a Logitech one, which I don't fucking use no more because of a cat. Thank God it's fucking dead because I never liked cats. I'm always a dog person. Well, the cat always gave me bad rap. 
because this cat always clawed on everything and so I left the door open to my room and it clawed on my mouse pad and fucked it up so that that was out a $40 mouse pad it's fucking stupid God, I hate cats. Fuck such a dog person. Ugh, Come on. Shut up. But for fifteen dollars, this mouse pad has lasted me a long time. All right. I hope I can help. Yeah, I did that thing for you. You finished excellent. Good work, guildmate. Here's your payment for the contract. You've been doing a good job, and under a lot of scrutiny. I've been authorized to promote you to the rank of Guardian. Good work. Contract. I understand Orain is looking for you again. Get to Coral and speak with the man. Okay. You Coral. Let's get the Coral. Yay. But yeah. There is a certain mouse that I want. On the, most of the mouses that... Mouses... Most of the mice that uh, Razor offers uh, has buttons on the side, but the ones I want uh, has two. I don't want the has one uh, nine buttons on the side of it because that's just fucking stupid. And why would anyone want to buy that? But I just want the two so I can have. How goes it? Okay. I um, hope I can have help. my melee button on the side of my mouse. But yeah, that is it, man. I just don't know which one that mouse is. I've got another job for you. It's a sensitive one. I need you to find Varenus Donton. Again. I sent him on a mission to Forsaken Mine. He and some others were supposed to clear the place of trolls. Haven't heard back from them in days. I want you to go check it out. I don't need to tell you how sensitive a matter this is. Get moving and report back to me as soon as possible. Oh God, Danton. You can do it. Name sounds familiar. I think I've ran to him once or twice. Where are the trolls? Ah, okay. All the way in Layer Win. Layer Win. Great. I hit my desk and my dog huffed. Like, bitch, it's me. Shut up. Ooh. Well met, adventurer. A moment of your time. Ooh. Yes. Hmm. Perhaps you'll be able to assist me. I'm after some skooma dealers. Goodbye. <laughs> Suit yourself. <laughs> I may be a skooma dealer myself. You don't know. <laughs> What the fuck is skooma? I, I don't know what it does in this one. And the other one, it just increases stamina. What's it doing this one? I don't have one. Fuck. Oh well. Yeah. Seems like uh, time passed much more quickly whenever I was playing Fallout. Because that's a game that I enjoy. Well, let me rephrase that. That's the series that I like to, and that I like very well. My first Fallout game was Fallout New Vegas. And I didn't like it because it just seemed empty. Plus also had the, uh, the normal version with no DLCs. Ah, uh, shit. Oh. God. God damn. It's dead. Okay. Let me guess. Blackwater. Black Marsh. Whatever they're called. Blackwater Company. I don't know. Murky Water. <laughs> oh yeah. The game I did reinstall was uh... Fallout 4 as well. 
I uninstalled GTA 5 because, uh, you know, that's not fun anymore. My brother doesn't play the game with me whenever he wants to do something. Uh, they haven't added any new cars, which is the only reason why I played it. The cars in that game were actually pretty damn good. I, I've always liked the Koenigsegg. Nobody know what a Koenigsegg is. Uh, let me rephrase that. Nowadays, people know what Koenigseggs are. Back then, in uh, 2015, nobody knew what the hell they were. It's, and I was glad, too, because they were a small Swedish company. Blackwood. Fucking knew it. Blackwood members and the fighter skills going at it. Awesome. So, what, what was I talking about? I had Conic Stick. Yeah, I love Conic Stick. I do. I am a fan, big fan at heart. I know a lot about the Conic Stick one to one. Not many people know that the Conic Stick one to one is actually the very first mega car. What is a mega car? Well, let me tell you what a mega car is. Well, what makes the Koenigsegg 1 to 1 a mega car? The reason why the Koenigsegg is classified as a mega car is because it has 1 kilogram to 1 horsepower. So, it weighs 1,337 kilograms. And it also has 1,337 horsepower. That's why it is classified as a mega car, and why it has a very nice, good name, Koenigsegg 1 to 1. The weight to horsepower ratio is 1 to 1. <laughs> I love I love throwing that fact at people, because people don't really know a lot about hypercars. I, for one hand, absolutely love hypercars. I could get this one wrong. Cause I don't know how many liters the, the V8 engine has, but I would say that no, would say I believe the Koenigsegg one to one. I, I know has a 6.5 liter V8 twin turbocharged engine in the back of that son of a bitch, and it is real real drive. But they wanted to get a Never green time on it, but you know, they could God, they believe that uh the one one would beat the uh the Never Green World Fast Slap, but they got the red flag, which indicates that the car was too fucking loud. Of all things. There was only one other car that actually did that. Well he's dead. Let's read the bloody journal. And that other car that uh, has ever done that was the uh, Pagani Zonda. Yeah, that car is uh, not road legal and it's too loud for the track. My grandfather was like, why well, make the car if it was too loud for the track and not road legal? And I'm like, <laughs> why not? Let's look for clues. I found a journal during his final days. In it, he describes how the mission went well until the Blackwood Company arrived. They battled and he survived. Gravely wounded, it appears he finally succumbed to his wounds. I should report this to Orin. Fucking Blackwood, man. They're the Fighter Guild's biggest competitors. Because they do it for cheaper. And they actually get it done. Well, so do we, but... They just offer better prices. Yay! Alright. Enough car talk. <laughs> uh, I do, I do. I'm not... 
a typical uh I don't know what to classify myself. Am I teen no, I'm not a teenager because I'm fucking twenty one. Adult. Young adult. I wouldn't classify my myself as an adult either because you know I ain't got a fucking job. I do YouTube for a living and I could quote unquote call it a living, but I'm not really doing anything. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh well. The uh I think it was yesterday. Oh my god. What what time is it? And how much time do I have left? Okay, so this is the beginning of part two. So on the seventh, which was Sunday, one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, S S O H P K C. Oh my god. He finally posted a video on YouTube. My heart skipped when I got You're that. back. What have you found out? My heart skipped.